All right, so let's say that there's a situation where the price of a good, in this case surfboards, decreases and the quantity produced in exchange of surfboards is uncertain. So we have a question mark for Q and we know that price is going down. Well, what will cause this to happen is a increase in supply and also a simultaneous decrease in demand. So we have supply going to the right and demand going to the left. And so as you can see, that drops, sorry, I didn't draw this initial equilibrium in. So that drops the equilibrium from like right here at Q1 and P1 to over here at Q2 and P2. Now, as I've drawn it, Q2 obviously increased, but I could have made demand decrease by a ton, and I'm going to need to redraw supply here. So I could have made demand decrease not by not to the red, but to the yellow, and it could have decreased all the way to like right here. And then C quantity would have decreased. So when both supply is increasing and demand is decreasing, so let me write this, we have supply going up increasing and then demand going down decreasing that will lead to P the price going up and the quantity being uncertain and so I want to just emphasize again why the quantity sorry price is not going up price is going down and the quantity is uncertain so the reason that the price is going down is that both we have more supply and less demand. So that should make a little bit of intuitive sense that if less people want it and there's a lot more of it, we're going to have to sell it for less. And then the quantity, the change in quantity is uncertain because if demand decreased by a little and supply increased by a lot, we might have like the situation drawn here where the quantity, the new quantity is greater than the old quantity. But if demand had decreased by a lot and supply had only decreased by a little, let's say that this is now D2, then we could have this new quantity over here, we'll call this Q3, that has decreased. So we don't know what's going to happen to quantity. So from the previous two videos, you should know what makes demand decrease and supply increase, so I'm not going to go over that here in the interest of time, and I will see you in the next video.